Hi, I'm Luke Chow, and I'm here in my reopened office in Toronto, Canada. During this ongoing pandemic and shutdown, many people have been stressed, and I found myself saying the same kinds of messages over and over again to different people. So I've decided to make this video to summarize that set of messages. And the video or the session is called, You Are the Captain of Your Ship because there's gonna be a nautical theme throughout this entire experience, where you're the captain of your ship, you do not control the waters or the winds, but you do have the wheel in your hands and you will sail through this storm too. So that's the entire session in a nutshell. If you've never experienced hypnosis before, make sure that you're in a comfortable spot with some privacy, some quiet, and ideally you'll be in a comfortable chair like the one I'm sitting in right now, but in a pinch, a bed with pillows to prop you up will do. Make sure that you're in a very comfortable spot. Make sure that your eyes are closed, then lean back and settle in. For the rest of this experience, it's okay to forget about the outside world. Hypnosis is about turning your attention inward to your feelings, your thoughts, and your imagination. Only when we go into your inner world, you'll have a guide. You won't be alone. My voice will guide your thoughts, your feelings, your imagination, and your experience. Bring your attention to your breathing and how each and every breath has the power to calm you, to comfort you, to help you feel like everything's okay with the world. In every breath, your body is getting what it needs the most. More than either food or water, your body thrives on oxygen. Your thinking thrives on oxygen. The power of your speech also thrives on more air. So in every breath, you're finding more of your personal power. You're feeling what so many monks and yogis and martial artists have felt in years going back to the dawn of time. That's right. In every breath, as you relax, as you feel good, you're feeling how your body is a source of comfort, a source of stability. Then bring your attention up to your eyelids. Feel those muscles of and around your eyelids become soft and loose. They're the smallest muscles in your body, so you might find that it's easy to let them become relaxed so relaxed that even when you try to open them, you'll find that they don't work. Whenever you think you have that relaxation, give them a test to show yourself that you have that relaxation. And whenever you're sure, then send that softness all of the way down, down to the bottoms of your feet. That's right. And from head to toe, you can let all of the muscles become soft and loose and comfortable. And it isn't just because I say so. My voice is like a coach in the background, giving you some guidance, giving you some instructions, pointing out what you can do. But mostly I have confidence that you can achieve what others before you have achieved. Breathing clean air, changing your attention are all you need to be deeply and comfortably relaxed. That's right. Then bring your attention to your eyelids again. Make sure they're so relaxed that they don't work. Of course, you know, you can open them if you wanted to, but you'd rather not. You'd rather that they be relaxed, comfortable, even lazy. And when you're sure that the relaxation is stronger than any opposing force, then send that relaxation in a wave down to the bottoms of your feet. That's right. And from head to toe, the muscles become softer, looser, and more comfortable than even before. 
That's right. Then, again, bring your attention to your eyelids. At this point, they don't even want to open. They are relaxed and soft and comfortable, and you might make sure of it, or maybe you'll just have confidence that they are relaxed. Then send that relaxation down to all the muscles to fill every muscle with a sense of softness and comfort. That's right. From head to toe, you can let go completely. Feel good completely. Soften completely. That's right. From the smallest to the biggest muscles of your body, you feel softness and comfort. Your body yearns for times and places where it gets to rest, where it can relax, and this experience is such a time, such a place. And then, imagine that the cushioning you're on is on a giant elevator platform. As I count down, you're well supported as the elevator begins to take you even deeper than this. We're starting at 20. Now slowly, gently, the elevator begins to take you deeper. You don't have to do much. You don't have to plan or think much. You can just let the elevator take you deeper down. 19. And deeper again. Down. To 18. And you're feeling good. You're feeling comfortable as you go deeper down to 17. Deeper again down to 16. Deeper to 15. Feeling good down to 14. Relaxing down to 13. Deeper again down to 12. All the way down to 11. Feeling good as you go deeper down to 10. Relaxing down to 9. Opening your mind down to 8. Deeper and deeper down to 7. All the way down to 6. Deeper down to 5. Deeper and deeper again down to 4. Deeper to 3. All the way down to two. And then, at one, the elevator slows and stops. Here, you've settled into a very comfortable place where it is easier to imagine, to feel the good feelings, to believe, to accept, and to change. Anytime you choose to listen to this recording, my words will have a greater impact, overriding older beliefs to the contrary of what I'm saying. I am saying that you are the captain of your own ship. When you became an adult, you were given captainship. You are the world's only authority on your values, your thoughts, your opinions, your experiences, your memories, your needs, your goals, your hopes, your desires, your boundaries, your sense of right and wrong. There is no higher authority than you when it comes to matters pertaining to you and your life, including what you do with your time, what you do with your words what you do with your conscience. Accept your captainship. The ship that you're on, that is called your life, cannot go anywhere without a captain, and there's nobody other than you who can take the wheel, set the waypoints, and steer your ship forward. In every breath, you're feeling one of the engines that are constantly there, 
through the thick and the thin, the good and the bad, through every storm, your breathing continues. In this cycle, every day and every night, without fail, in every breath, you're moving further away from the past and into a future that you're steering your ship into. Between your lungs, you have a heart and a heartbeat, and your heart's another engine that's always there, constantly and faithfully, driving you forward in its own beat. And sometimes your heart or your breathing will be quicker, other times more slow, no matter what. It's okay that you don't control the waters or the winds. You don't have to. You've already navigated around or through every storm you've ever encountered over your life, and your ship keeps sailing. It doesn't matter what emotions go through your heart, because even when your ship is rocking, it stays afloat. It stays seaworthy. The twin engines keep driving you forward, and you keep going. Through the thick and the thin, through the good and the bad, your life goes on. And you'll never forget that you're the captain of your ship, your life, who's in your life, what you're doing with your life, what you're doing with your time, what you'll allow, what you'll disallow. You're the world's only authority over your life, your heart, your mind, and your conscience. More and more, as it sinks in, that you are the captain of your ship. It makes you feel empowered. It makes you feel stronger. It's perfectly okay that you do not control and you cannot predict the weather, the water, or the waves. You don't need to, because your ship will keep sailing. You are unbothered by the rocking of the waves. It's part of every voyage. And at this point, you know that the rocking can never capsize your ship. At this point in your life, you've already been through your first day of school, probably your first heartbreak. You've already been through your first day on the job. Whatever's coming up next, you'll survive and you can handle it. As you steer your ship, you're looking forward, rarely backward. With both hands on the wheel, you'll sail forward, looking at the waters ahead, neither speculating too much about what's over the horizon, nor looking too much at what's in your wake. If you were to look back, it'll be the same as last time. You've been there, you've done that, and what's coming up ahead is more compelling, more interesting, more intriguing. Old maritime maps might say here be dragons, but you know, over the horizon, there's just more water, there's more land. Occasionally there are safe harbors. There are never, ever any dragons. Every adult has captainship of their own ship. They are responsible for their decisions, their speech, and their actions, not you. If someone's about to run into you, of course, you'll put your foot down, you'll say no, you'll stop them. But otherwise, it's okay to be unconcerned how other adults captain their own ships. Just like it's okay to be unbothered by the rocking of the boat, and it's perfectly okay not to care very much at all about what the water conditions or what the weather or the winds will be like. You can't predict them. You can't control them. Instead, you'll just adjust your sails and your rudder as necessary on your ship, 
Sometimes you'll change course. Sometimes if you're blown off course, you'll just adjust to get back on track. Because you're the captain of your ship. The world's only authority over your time, your decisions, your speech. Those are products of your values, what's important to you, and your conscience. Your ship is all yours, and you have ownership over it. Your heartbeat and your breathing, your mind and your physical body. You'll take good care of your ship because it's yours, because it's nobody else's. You can love your heart, your mind, and your body as three rare, lifelong possessions that no one else can control or take from you. You are the captain of your ship. You have both hands on the wheel. Your head will be held up high. You'll keep surviving every storm. Your ship continues to be seaworthy, and you'll keep sailing. Take everything I've suggested and let it all sink in. With all your heart, with all of your mind, with every cell that's in your body, accept, embrace, love, the fact that you are the captain of your ship and you own your ship, and you'll sail it well. As it sinks in, I'm gonna begin counting up. As I count, slowly turn your attention outward. Slowly feel energy return with every count up, and let every part of you, mind, heart, and body, unite to help you in the waters ahead. One, become aware now of your body resting on the cushions Become aware of where your hands and feet are resting. Two, notice your breathing still constantly, faithfully, bringing more oxygen as fuel into your brain and your body. One of those engines that's always there. Three, become aware and alert as to where you are, what you have planned after this, and how your outlook has already changed or taken on new qualities because of today's realizations. Four, now energy comes from the bottoms of your feet and goes all of the way up to the top of your head, making you feel energized, making you feel refreshed, and making you feel wonderful in every way, knowing that you've made a change and ready to return back to the room, back to this world, on five. Then, in the time that you need to fully accept and embrace today's perspectives, then let your eyes open and return fully back to the room. Welcome back. I hope you were able to enjoy this session. Feel free to use it as often as you want to on an as-needed basis. For more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit like or comment down below. Again, it's Luke Chow from the Morpheus Clinic for Hypnosis in Toronto, Canada, where we make hypnosis make sense. Thank you.